This week on Machinery PTV, a machine shed full of great equipment for sale in Wisconsin. This John Deere 9510R tractor is one of the reasons this auction is so special. Another generation cherishes this Super MTA Farm All, and we'll see a priceless reaction to a much hoped for tractor purchase. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. This week we're in Evansville, Wisconsin, about 30 miles south of Madison, and we're here for the George Andrew Online Farm Auction. Now, it's a little bit different. It's not really a retirement sale, and it's definitely not an estate sale. It's kind of a restructuring. George is, is uh, going to have some folks do the custom work for him, but keeping the land. Now, he's downsizing, and today we're going to watch a couple beautiful late model four-wheel drive tractor sell. But before we watch these babies go, we got to go back to the studio and catch up on the very latest farm equipment news. Thanks, Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Tom Vilsack will once again be serving as the head of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, the Senate, confirming his nomination on Tuesday. Vilsack's nomination passing the Senate as it did in the Senate Ag Committee weeks before. Vilsack reprising the role he held for eight years during the Obama administration. He has highlighted eight priorities for USDA, including equality and inclusion, climate and regenerative agriculture, rural economic development, nutrition security and assistance, and open and competitive markets. Meanwhile, remember those mysterious seed packages that wound up in people's mailboxes last summer. The USDA has wrapped up its investigation. It reports it found no evidence someone was intentionally trying to harm agriculture in the country with those shipments. Instead, they believe the seeds were part of a brushing scam, something some internet sellers do to increase transactions. Texas is starting to add up the damage following last week's deadly cold snap. Already, Texas is estimating damage just to the state's citrus crop at more than $300 million. That's not good news for the number three citrus producing state in the nation. It could put more pressure on food inflation, which has been on the rise due to the impacts of the pandemic. There's also concern the damage to trees could cut into next year's crop. Texas is the number two grapefruit producer in the country. Now let's check on some recent auction prices from across the country. And now back to Machinery P. Hey, stay tuned folks. Coming up, we've got a really sweet four-wheel drive tractor to show you, an 11 model John Deere 9230, 2941 hours, three-point PTO, and new tires. Okay, folks, our four-wheel drive episode moves along here, and we got a beauty, a 2011 John Deere 9230 here with owner George Andrew. George, another one-owner item? Yes, yep. Bought it back in 2011, brand new. Brought it home, we brought it, bought it just for the planter and the grain cart. Okay. And it's got a premium cab, it's power shift, got three-point and PTO. Okay. Uh, it's pre-def. Yep. Which yeah. is, uh, that's a, that, that gets a lot more interest these days, doesn't yes. it? Yes, there's a lot of interest yeah. in this tractor. 
So three point PTO pre def, that's kind of like the trifecta right there, George. Well, I'm thinking it is. And how many hours on this baby? There's 2,940 hours. 2,940, okay. Yep. For, uh, yeah, it's 10 years old now. Boy, it doesn't look like it's 10 years old. Well, we keep everything inside, shedded, you know, and at the end of the season, we always clean them up, wax them, and so, yeah, it kept pretty well. This is a beautiful facility here, by the way. Uh, our auctioneer friends, uh, Kale and George Dean, sent us a nice preview video of the sale, and I asked Kale, I said, is, will the stuff be outside? And he, he kind of chuckled and said, no, there's a very nice shop here so obviously it helps with a machine like this to be able to care for it and keep it cleaned up but uh, how long have you had the, the shop here? Uh, we built the shop in, in 2012. So one year after this baby? Yes. Okay. Yep. And again how are you using this tractor? Mostly planting? Yep. It's on the planter and mm -hmm. then in the fall we put it on the green cart. The green cart. And that's okay. all it's done. Okay. And will it be hard to see it go George? It will. You know I'm 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 slowing down a little bit. My right-hand guy is 78 years old, and, and we're going to hire Kevin Klein to, to do all our, our spring planting, and he's going to do all our fall harvest. Okay. Well, I've kept my semis, and I bought three new grain trailers. My grain trailers are for sale. Um, just going to dial things back a little sure. bit for both of us. Well, whoever buys this tractor is going to be ready to dial it up, aren't they? Yes. It also it has eight brand new tires on it. Just put them on. So now we went from the tri trifecta to the whatever the quad is. You've got the three-point PTO, new tires, and pre-def. Yes. There you go. I don't think you can find a better tractor. Well, folks, we're going to change age and size a little bit here on our tractors. And George, your 1971 John Deere 4320 diesel synchro, you haven't had this too long, is that correct? No, I bought it last winter at a farm auction over by Broadhead. Uh, we bought it to put on our side dresser, to put on 32. Okay. So we've only run it a year. Okay. Run super good. I uh, had absolutely no trouble with it. So your guy Bruce was running the 4320, he said it was pretty slick, or were you out there running no, it, George? No, Bruce ran it. Okay. He, he was side, running the side dresser. And he didn't complain that, you know, going from the modern tractor back to this baby? Well, he would like to have a cab, but he managed to get along. He got her well. done. Yeah, okay. got her done. That must be kind of fun for you to, uh, you know, a classic 20 series like this. I mean, you're using it in the field, it's getting the job done, but also, you know, throwing back to those, uh, kind of those happy memories of the 70s, maybe? Yeah, it does. It brings you back to that 4020 series and... Mm -hmm. They're all great tractors. Now, was the bidding on this thing pretty competitive, I'm guessing, at that sale in Broadhead where you yep, picked it up? it was. Uh, picked it up for $10,000. 10000 Well, there you go. Pretty so, good buy. And it, I know it's on the sale listing, it says it shows 7,600 hours. Yes. Don't know by chance. I of, don't have any idea if that's a correct number or not. Right. Now, leading up to the sale, are getting many calls on this thing? Yes, a lot of calls. Yeah. Isn't it yep. funny, sometimes the older tractors can get even more calls than the, than the yeah, modern so ones? Yeah, it's mostly collectors. They all want them, and, and I bet you we've had 30 calls. Wow. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. Machinery Pete TV, brought to you by the Senex Total Protection Plan, the best warranty in the agriculture industry that keeps you in the field and provides you peace of mind. Visit Senex.com. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. 
Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineRepeat.com. Well, my friends, Darby and Doug Walton with United Country Walton Realty and Auction out in Ohio had themselves quite a farm sale on February 13th. And here's a picture of my friend Darby Walton took of the three tractors on the sale, beautiful condition. Now, they all sold very strong, and we'll just walk down the line here, folks. This confirmed three trends in the current used equipment market. So let's start off with the first tractor here, 2006 Case H JX65, only had 410 hours on it, sold with a loader and it went for $29,500. Now, that is the highest auction price I've ever seen on a JX65 with a loader. But what I found more interesting was it was $6,000 over the previous high, 23.5, and that was exactly 12 years ago, back in February of 2009. And the tra trend here, of course, is under 100 horse tractors used, very low hours, extremely hot. Okay, next in line is this really sharp 1999 Case H MX120 two-wheel drive with 1,680 hours on it. Now it sold for 57,000 bucks, same story here folks, new record high auction price on a two-wheel drive MX120. Now the trend that I've been seeing here, these two-wheel drive models from the mid to late 80s, 90s, early 2000s on these tractor models that are mostly front wheel assist and then you get these rare two-wheel drives, they kind of look like odd ducks. But when they're in nice condition like this, they are just selling like hotcakes. So I see the same thing with all colors, like maybe on a John Deere 8100, same thing. Now, we go down to the end of the line. We have this really sharp 1974 International 1066. 5,555 hours on it, second owner. Sold for $18,540, very strong price there. In fact, that's the ninth highest auction price the last five years on an International 1066. So what's our trend here? Well, tractors from the 70s, mid 70s like this, uh, when they're in nice condition like this one, are going up in value. Now some people from afar might say, well, that's just collector money starting in on these 70s tractors. And yes, a little bit that's true, but mostly what I'm seeing, people just buy these, these tractors to use. I mean, they're bulletproof, they've done the job. Here's a nice one, a second owner, $5,500 buy it, put it in the field. So I tell you what, these tractors sold on February 13th. These made for three pretty special Valentine Day presents in my book. Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. And this week we're gonna check out a Farmall Super MTA with some deep family roots. Bridget Payne is the fifth generation on this family's farm. She loves owning this tractor because it's just like the one her great-grandfather farmed with. This is a 1954 Super MTA, and it's the International Tractor, and a really cool story behind this tractor is my great-grandfather owned this tractor, well, similar one, not the same one. He actually gave it to his grandson, which is my Uncle Carl, and he sold it quite a while ago and traded it in for a different tractor at the time, and because they were used for farming then, and now we just use them for parades and shows. This specific one, my great-grandfather used to farm with it. When it came time to picking a tractor, I'm one of the oldest grandchildren, uh, so I got to choose first, and I just thought this had a lot of neat history, and even though it's not his, it still has a piece of him with it. We use this tractor mainly for parades and shows. Like I said, we don't farm a whole lot with them since they are older and they're antiques to our family. We like to collect them and just have them and show them off in the parades. All my friends think it's really cool and I have, my best friend actually loves the same models of tractors and the same brand and all of our friends have different types of tractors that they like. We feud over them all the time. Some like the green, some like red. Besides the color, um, I really like how easy it is to drive this tractor. It's got power steering. It's not like the old days where you had to really turn it to get it going, but power steering really makes a difference. <laughs> 
Hey, stay with us folks, coming up we've got an eight year old, one owner, beautiful four wheel drive tractor, John your 9510R, this thing's got 1,958 hours on it. No other cornhead works like a Drago, or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Well, folks, covering auctions all these years, there's always got to be a farm dog. And here we have Abby. Abby belongs to George Andrew. George, the owner here. Your beautiful tractor, 13 model 9510R. Man, this thing's a beast. Yep. Uh, bought it brand new back in 13. It's got 1,958 hours. Okay. It's got a premium cab in it. Uh, comes with power shift, inside wheel weights. Yep. It's got suitcase weights behind or between the rear wheels. It's got the premium light package, uh, four remotes, and it's got diff lock. Um, it's pre-def. Yeah, which is, that's a big, big plus these days. Big isn't plus. It? Yeah. And it's just mainly used for spring and fall tillage. Okay, I was gonna ask you how it, what its main use on the farm was here. Um, and again, you're the original owner. Uh, yes. What dealer did you buy it from? Bought it from Mid-State Equipment in Janesville. Oh, right in Janesville. Yep. Okay. Now, leading up to the sale, I'm, I'm just guessing, George, you tell me, but a, a seven, eight year old tractor like this with kind of low hours, one owner, I'm guessing you maybe got a few phone calls on this thing. Had a lot of phone, a lot of interest. Yeah. In fact, I got a gentleman called me yesterday from Mattoon, Illinois, three and a half hours away. Wow. He wants to come up tomorrow and look at it. Okay. So, must have pretty good interest. Well, it looks beautiful. Can you, can you talk about the history of care you've given it over the years in service? Uh, it's always been serviced spring and fall. Uh, routinely, every two and a half or 250 hours, change oil in it, um, service the filters. Right. It's been taken real good care of. We we probably once a year change all the hydraulic filters. Hmm. So it's had a lot of good care. Now this is is an awful big uh, tractor here, George. What was the the first tractor that you drove? My first tractor I drove was a super. It was an H Farmall H. You went from a little classic red to, to our green monster here today. Yes. Yep. I saw a lot of changes in my day, and I, I've enjoyed the ride. Well, folks, I've had this uh, machine repeat rule of 12 theory for quite a while now. It's pretty simple. Your favorite tractor on the farm when you were 12 years old, there's a very high probability that that will be your favorite tractor for the rest of your life that powerful connection to when we were young on the farm. It, it's just very powerful. But I tell you, I may have to change that now to Machine Repeat's Rule of 11 after a couple awesome videos sent to me last week by Facebook follower Kelly Ahart from Alcester, South Dakota. Now Kelly has a son who's 11, Cole. And here's a video clip Kelly sent me of Cole out doing some tillage work, uh, driving their John Deere 4630. Now Kelly mentioned that they had been shopping for a tractor and got zeroed in looking at this beautiful John Deere 8300, a 98 model, 3800 hours, one owner at AgriVision Equipment Group, a great dealer. And uh, Kelly was working with his, his uh, salesman at their Ironton, Iowa store, Reed Yackley. Now here's another video clip and this is a text sent to Cole letting him know that they just bought this John Deere 8300. Love that priceless reaction from Cole, pure excitement. I told Kelly, you'll remember this for the rest of your life and I'm quite sure Cole will too. Now one last thing about that video, Cole, I noticed you were wearing Minnesota Vikings socks. From one lifelong Minnesota Vikings fan, machine repeat to another, skull brother, and enjoy that John Deere 8300. Well, I sure had fun covering the George Andrew online farm retirement auction for Maple Grove Farms over there in Evansville, Wisconsin. It had been a while since we've been over to Wisconsin for the TV show. And tell you what, uh, George's four-wheel drive tractors, wow. That 2013 uh, John Deere 9510R selling for $210,000. Folks, that's the highest auction price in the U.S. in 50 months on a 9510R. Proving again, it pays to take great care of your equipment. 
We'll see you back here next week, folks, on Machine Repeat TV. Machine Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. of equipment is on machinerypeat.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on machinerypeat.com. <laughs>